An emotional and traumatic day for the community of Mesquite. Dozens of school children are dealing with the reality of this bus crash. And today we're learning what may have led to the crash. We do have team coverage for you tonight with Steve Pickett and JD Miles. We begin with Steve live at Perry Middle School in Mesquite. Steve? Uh, this report, it is a report released by this police department on this accident. It, it focuses on, Ken, four witnesses, independent witnesses in cars in and around that bus. And they all talk about the bus veering in some form or fashion, overcorrecting to a point where that bus, according to at least one witness, almost hit an oncoming car. Well, I wanted her back. And we can't even get that. We're missing a piece of a family. Jasmine Alfaro Villarreal rode the Terry Middle School bus home Wednesday with her sister. Her uncle said urgent calls came about the bus crashing on the route that brings the girls home. Jasmine became the only child rescuers could not reach before a fire spread. She's a little angel. <laughs> I'm staying up, hearing her trying her plans growing up. I don't want to go to UT. <laughs> <laughs> None of that's going to happen now. The accident report released by Mesquite Police today identifies driver actions as the possible reasons for the bus crash. Four witnesses report the driver, John Johnson, a seven year veteran for Mesquite ISD's transportation team, veering the bus from one direction to the other in an apparent attempt to correct the bus driving off the roadway. The bus then tipped over, sliding violently into a utility pole. Four police officers were injured slightly, getting children out. Others also hearing about the driver's efforts as well. From my understanding, the bus driver did kick the windshield in and he was trying to take out, help take out the students along with, you know, everybody, everybody else that was passing by and saw as it happened. Fire that burned the bus may have also blocked rescuers from getting to Jasmine. Obviously, obviously incredibly tough for this family. Uh, that youngster's sister, 11-year-old sister, also on that bus, uh, deeply emotional for all of them today. Police tell us, however, their investigation into this bus crash is not done. That driver, also injured, also still in the hospital. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.